Hi, this is Deborah Potter with News Lab, and I'm going to demonstrate how you make a collage or a presentation using Vuvox. Vuvox.com, there's the URL, is a free online tool that you can use to make presentations of all sorts. I've chosen to create a timeline, as you can see here, and I'm going to go over here to this little edit button and show you how I did it. Once I push Edit, I get what's called a stage. This is what Vuvox calls it, the stage where I'm going to put the materials that I'm using, and then a bunch of tools that allow me to manipulate those materials. As you can see, I've already put on several from the 1950s into the 1970s. After this one, a VHS tape, I happen to know from my research that the next development I want to add is the Walkman. So as you can see, I've simply gone down here to my media section, where I have uploaded a variety of images, and I'm going to simply click and drag that image into this timeline up here, onto the stage. Okay. Now, if you happen to have a Smug Mug account, or a Flickr account, or a Picasa account, you can link those accounts to Vuvox, which makes it really easy to find your images. Once I've put the image on the timeline, or on this stage, I can manipulate it. I can do things with it. For example, I can rotate it one way or the other. I think I sort of like it a little off kilter, so I'll do that. I can drag it so it's in a better spot. I can, if I want, move the image from front to back. In this case, I think I like it where it is, because if I do it the other way, I'm going to have this weird piece of wood on top of it, so I'll, I'll put it back. I'll have it on the front. And then I can add information to it, and that's what's so much fun about this. So, for example, here, my VHS tape. If I wanted to add some information to this image, I'd simply click on it, and then it gives me this option to add a hotspot. So if I click that, I now have a little box that I can drag to any spot on this tape, and I can add more information. In this case, I'm going to add a link to a history of VHS tape. And the link icon is pretty clear. I can add it there. Link to a web page. I'm going to call it LA Times article, because that's what I'm linking to. Here it is up here. I'll simply highlight the URL and paste it below. I'm going to let it open in a new window. You have the option, if you want to, of opening it in a pop-up, but it doesn't work very well for me, in my opinion. So I'll just save it, and now it's there. I'll do the same thing with this Walkman. I think I might want to add a little some bit of information there, so I'm going to add, again, a history of the Walkman. Who remembers, right? Click there. In this case, it's a Time Magazine article, which I have highlighted here. Copy and paste. Now this information has been added. Other things you can do. You can add text. Obviously, I had to add the text down here of the dates. I know that next I'm going into a new decade. So, for example, I might want to add in here 1980s. If I click on this big letter A, the universal symbol for adding text, here's my option. Click and drag it. There it is. Enter text. I'm going to call it, in this case, 1980s, because that's coming next. Make it bold and bring it down, drag it down to, oops, wrong thing. Grab the wrong thing. These things happen. Drag it down over here. So now I'm ready for my next decade. The other thing you can do is you can add audio. You can add background, as it says, music, but any file, any MP3 file. So you could add narration to this timeline. I'm, for the sake of argument, to make it simple, I am going to just add background music, and I have uploaded an audio track. Um, putting it on the timeline is very simple. I've just added it here, and now it should be there. Okay? I hope. So, we want to save what we've done, obviously, you always do, and then preview it. When I go into preview mode, I can now play this collage. I can look at it. Make sure that my little hotspots link, there's the history of VHS tape, and if I click on it, sure enough, there's the article. I can make sure that this 
works. This is another link I added. In this case, it is a link to a YouTube video. Isn't that amazing? So you could add that. But if, for example, you had your own video stored on your own server, you could simply embed it there. I don't. That's a YouTube video. So obviously I did it this way as a link. But if I wanted to, I could abs absolutely embed um, a video. Let's see what happens when I play this. So you can see that I've added the music on the background, and it's playing just fine. That's how it works. It's that simple. Now, when you've done it, you've got it done. I'm returning to edit. What are you going to do with that? Well, you'll see over here it says publish. So if I publish my changes, I can make it public. I can leave it as a draft. At the moment, it's leave it left as a draft because there's no reason for anybody else to say, see this. And here are my options for it. I could add it to a Facebook page, embed it in a blog, email it around. There's an embed code. Simple. Copy paste. Right? So you can do anything that you want to with this uh, collage that you've created. Again, they call them collages. I might call them presentations. But welcome to VUVOX. Enjoy the show.